licensed contractor is important because you know you know that you have somebody that's in the industry and that that is what they do a contractor's license is issued to a general contractor general contractor is like an orchestra leader he makes the contract and he does multiple jobs for you he really is not supposed to do just one trade if you need a specialty contractor like a plumber or electrician or a roofing contractor you hire that licensed contractor, like a roofing contractor is a C39, a building contractor is a B1. So you're best off to stick with the licensed contractor for the trade that he's licensed for. Um, you wouldn't want your gardener to come in and fix your uh, light switch, it might burn down your house. Um, it's very important, stick with trades and make sure they're a licensed contractor. Um, licensed and bonded, the bond, it basically just protects you. If you give him money down and he disappears, you can get your money back through his bond. Other than that, a bond is no guarantee of any efficiency or trustworthiness. Um, they should have general liability insurance that protects you in your home from any damage he might do or third party injury. Um, just like you wouldn't lend me your car to drive to Las Vegas for a week and back without me being on your insurance. Why would you allow somebody on your roof without insurance? Because if they fall, get hurt, create property damage, and they don't have liability insurance, you're footing the bill. And uh, it's not something you want. So when you hire a contractor, make sure he's licensed, bonded, and insured, not just they state they're insured because they have to have workman's comp. Workman's comp is for the employee. You want to make sure they have general liability insurance to protect you and your property and your assets so that you're not paying the bill for the damage that may be caused.